In this episode of AI Dev Tools, we are going to learn on how you can quickly build a remote MCP server from your API with none other than Adrian, who is a software engineer at Ziplo. Hi, Adrian, and welcome to the show. Hello everyone, I'm Adrian. I'm a staff software engineer here at Zuplo, and I'm excited to show you what I got. So everyone out there, all the devs, you all have data. I'm sure about that. You have data in database. I've got Superbase over here, and I have a little bit of data around, you know, some sensitive information. This is a little table I call credit cards, where it has, you know, a first name, a last name, number, account numbers, and that's all great. But what if you want to securely expose your data to AI, whether that's ChatGPT, Cursor, or any of the other LLM tools out there? Your first instinct might be to use an API. And that's a very good sense. So what I've set up over here using Zoopla, which is an API management platform I build, is a simple API proxy that will both read your existing credit cards from your Superbase database over here, and also allow you to add credit cards. So essentially, we can have an API-powered, let's call it credit card platform. Just to show you how it works, uh, I set up these two uh, proxies over here in the Zoopla Route Designer. Uh, within it, it, all it is is just an open API file. And from that open API file, we can generate all of the the code that we need. So I'm just going to hit test over here to show you that this is a live endpoint. And you can see all of those entries from Superbase are being linked up over there. So that's awesome. So you know, I could typically take this open API file now and pass it into a tool like uh, OpenAI. And it could feasibly understand all of the content in there and make API calls. However, that's going to potentially lead to a lot of wasted context in the context window of the API, especially if this is not just the two endpoints that I'm showing over here, but what if it's 200? So we need a better way of exposing these APIs and this data to AI tools. And that answer is model context protocol, or MCP. Essentially, the way MCP works is that it exposes a list of tools, which roughly map over to a bunch of different API endpoints you might have, or a collection of API endpoints, like a workflow. And rather than uh, sending them all down to the AI at once, it just exposes some metadata about them. And the AI will then ask questions uh, and acquire about the capabilities of the tools that you're exposing. So it can retrieve them one by one and make use of them without blowing up its context window. So uh, within Zoopla, we decided that this is a pretty important use case, essentially being able to take your existing like APIs and data and expose them as a secure remote MCP server. So what I'm going to show you over here is how exactly to do that. All I'm going to do is create a new open API spec within Zoopla over here. I'm going to call this mcp.oes.json. You can do this within our web platform, as I'm showing you now, or you can do this all locally within VS Code. And then I'm going to click quickly add a route. I'm going to call this my MCP route. And it's going to be hosted on slash MCP. That's great. And I'm going to change the handler over here to be the MCP server handler. And I'm going to change this to post because that's what the protocol for MCP requires. And what this is going to do now is it's going to take this uh, routes.oas.json file, the two endpoints I showed you earlier, and convert them into MCP tools. So how do I know that this is working? Well, I can quickly grab the URL of this MCP server over here. That's great. And I'm going to head over to OpenAI's playground. I'm going to be using ChatGPT, uh, the GPT 4.1 model. And what you need to do is you just click the Tools button over here. You link up an MCP server. Click Add New. And you can add the URL of that server. I'm going to call this the credit card server and credit card data. That's great. We don't need any access tokens for now or API keys, but I'll, I can show you how to add that in a second. And I'm going to click Connect. All right, so you can see that the two tools are already linked up, get credit cards and add credit cards. That roughly mapped up to the different API endpoints that I showed you earlier. OK, that's great. So now let's try and do something with it, right? So let's see, get me a list of all of the credit cards. And you can see that OpenAI is now going to look at the tools that it has available. It makes this list tools call, which is specified within the MCP protocol. And it's like, hey, get credit cards is what this guy wants to do. So I'm going to click Approve. And you can see now, semantically, the AI has access to the data within our database through a secure API there. OK, now let's try and add a credit card. So let's add a credit 
part. The name is going to be Bobby Axelrod. Number is one, two, three, four. And was there anything else within my database that I needed? I needed a first name, a last name, uh, and number and account number. So let's do the account number. Five. There you go. So you see, because MCP is schematized uh, and the schemas are generated directly from your API, you can see that all of the properties are now appropriately mapped to what the server is expecting. So when I click approve over here, it's going to go and add that to my database over here. So if I click refresh, you can see Bobby Axelrod is directly within my database. So not only have we allowed the AI to easily read from the database, you can also perform operations directly. So no more need for like a UI with the power of like just your database and some APIs and API management, you can have an AI powered application over your data. You get up to a million API calls per month totally for free. And that includes a lot of other stuff, including like API key authentication, which I can uh, show you later or anything else like that. If you go to zuplo.com, all of it's available for you. Completely self-serve, all the docs are there for you. And then, you know, open AI, just grab an API key for that and you can get started with the, their side. Perfect. I'll, I'll ask one more question. You know, I know many other, you know, API hosting tools, you know, they're also uh, folks who are watching it on Global AI and C Sharp TV, you know, they love uh, Azure, right? So they're, they are the tools there, you know, what makes Zuplo, you know, what are some of the, you know, maybe a USP uh, that, that stands out uh, if you are compared with other tools? Yeah, absolutely. So what's funny, uh, especially he's talking to the C Sharp crew over here, yeah. uh, our founder, Josh Twist, he actually founded Azure API Management way back in the day. So he has tons what? of experience and learnings from that team that he was on. Um, so he learned very quickly that Azure API Management is not a tool for like developers. It's just not like super friendly. It's not very fast to build. As I showed you over there, that API was mm. up and running in seconds. Uh, so really the emphasis here with Zuplo is now around building API and MCP products very quickly, being super developer friendly and not being locked to any specific cloud and essentially getting you up and running with the same sort of methodology that you would apply in front end. You know, everyone loves Vercel now because you can quickly uh, go and build a website, run yes. it all locally, push it, GitHub Action kicks off and you get a build that you can preview right away. We're trying to do the exact same thing to API development and MCP development so you can have rapid development on your MCP and API servers. Wow, I love it. I'm glad that uh, you're part of this show, Adrian. Thank you so much for joining us today. And thank you so much, everyone who is watching. Please go ahead and uh, give it a shot to this tool. I really already find it very interesting. And that is it. Adrian, any final thing you want to plug before we wrap up the show? No, if you're looking to build your MCP server, this is the fastest way to get it done. All right, Adrian, thank you so much. And thank you so much, everyone.